Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Okay, what we're looking at today is the new GPS picture tracker, the photo finder from ATP, which will allow you to add GPS tags of latitude and longitude from uh, uh, to pictures taken on your digital camera while on the go without any need for a PC. And then what you can then do is load these pictures up via Picasa to Google um, Earth, and then you can see them sort of tagged to share with friends and family. Uh, it's really easy to use, um, and it's quite a unique device as well. There's plenty, there's a few other devices like this out there, but they all tend to need some software in between. This one doesn't. So let's have a look at, in the box and see what you get. Okay, well there's the usual instruction manual. A little USB lead. Um, you can use this USB lead to connect to the picture finder to a memory card reader as well um, if you don't have an SD or MMC card. And a little carabiner um, to connect it to your belt when you're using it. So here's the device itself. Um, as you can see it's nice and small and compact. It takes a couple of AA batteries. And when it comes to swapping your SD card over to load the geotags on, you just plug it in there and then you can see the uh, mini USB port as well. The way it works is you turn the device on and go outside with it and via the built-in GPS receiver in the top, it will pick up its latitude, longitude and the time. And then what you do is you take your digital camera, go into the settings and set the time of the camera to exactly the same as what it is on the GPS photo finder. So when you finish taking your photographs for the day, take your card out of your digital camera and load it into the photo tracker, like so and it will automatically detect the card and ask you if you want to transfer GPS data to it. So you just say yes. It adds the GPS data to your pictures. Take it out. And then you can you know load your pictures up onto your camera with a card reader or if you use a generic lead, simply pop it back in and do it like that. Something, a few little hints and tips for using this device. Um, it doesn't tend to like writing to very old SD cards, so make sure you've got one that you've bought in the last uh, couple of years or so. Use really good quality alkaline batteries as well in the photo finder. Um, if the batteries run out halfway through a day, um, then you do risk the chance of losing your, DT, your, your GPS data from the login side. It's got 128 megabytes of built-in flash memory, so it can record over 550 hours worth of uh, GPS logs, which is more than enough for everybody. Uh, it basically takes its position every five seconds. But as long as you start off with good quality alkalines, you don't have to worry about it. And if you haven't used it for a few weeks, you know, pop a couple of sets in, because there'll be nothing more frustrating than getting to the end of the day and discovering your GPS data is corrupt. Also, it's worth mentioning that they do say in the manual to, if you've got really important photographs, back them up before you use the data tracker. Um, because obviously, if halfway through uh, the batteries aren't flat in this device, then you could corrupt your images and not be able to record them. I haven't had any troubles like that. Everything's worked. Um, everything's worked pretty much okay. So let's take some pictures. Um, we'll uh, data log them with the GPS uh, geocodes, and then we'll have a look at them in. Uh, Picasso and Google Earth.
Right, so we've taken our pictures, I've transferred them to our PC, and we've fired up Picasa. Um, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this on the screen, but all the little thumbnails of Picasa that I've uh, geotagged have got a tiny little cross in the corner, which means that they've got a geotag. So if we go into the picture and look at the properties, um, down at the bottom we've got GPS, latitude and longitude, so that's really cool. So let's go and have a look at Picasso Online. To load up. And this is my public gallery which you can uh, come and have a look at. I'll put the URL in the description. So let's just go and have a look and see what a GPS tagged public album looks like. Here we go, we've got a few images of the tagger itself and then if you come down to here you can see where all the pictures are taken. So let's take a look at the picture. I don't know which picture we're looking at. Look at this gun again. Let's do a picture of the gun. And then down in the bottom right -hand corner. Exactly where the picture was taken. Isn't that cool? And you can look at the album map again. This is going to bring a big uh, image and all around where these pictures were taken there's a little pickies. So we can just select one of them. Let's have a look at that picture there. Click on it. Drag it across. There it is. So it's a fun way to share pictures with friends and families. Um, you can also go into Google if you've got that installed and see the pictures actually on the maps there. I imagine if you're a um, surveyor uh, or uh, maybe some of the insurance or state agents, having the ability to know exactly where you took the photographs could be uh, really, really important to your job. Uh, so it's a fun bit of kit, highly recommended, and seems to work very, very well. And that's my quick video review of the um, ATP GPS picture tracker. Let's just finish with a little picture of it, shall we? Just so you can see it again. And there it is. Right, thanks for watching.